Hey VC, it's Chad, and I'm back. Uh, I'm going to, this video is going to be kind of a uh, short one. Uh, I'm going to uh, show a few things, like the title says, that I got in today in the mail, and I'm going to, uh, something about an iPod, I don't know, he, just iPod? I don't know. What am I saying? It's the vinyl community. But anyway, uh, I'm kind of a rule breaker, so we'll see what happens in a minute, so. First up, uh, I'm going to uh, show what I got in the mail today. Um, I just got back from the fam with the family from Fuzzy's Taco Taco Shop. Had tacos, or actually had nachos for dinner, and they were tasty. So uh, uh, we just got home. Family's actually fixing to get changed. We're gonna go swimming in a few minutes. So uh, we're trying to make this really quick. So uh, what I got in the mail today first? I uh, there was a local band out of the Fourth area. Um, which I'm about an hour and a half away, so I can see that local. Uh, uh, band called Horror Cult. Um, I just recently stumbled upon them. Never heard of them before. Um, I was looking into, uh, Info is a club I go to sometimes to see bands uh, called The Rail Club. And uh, noticed that Doyle from The Misfits will be playing in August. Uh, I'm actually going to try to catch that show because I... Uh, Looks like it'd be pretty fun, and uh, I actually like Doyle's solo project. Um, I don't actually own a physical copy, but uh, I have heard some stuff, and I'm looking to buy a physical copy of his new new record. But uh, anyway, on the flyer uh, for that, it had a local band. It so showed horror cult this band, and so uh, clicked over to their Facebook page, checked it out, read some stuff, looked at some pictures. I was like, looks pretty impressive. Uh, looks like something I'd like. Checked out over on iTunes. Yeah, I know, whatever. Uh, and listen to some sa samples of some songs, really dug it. And then uh, a few days later, I noticed on their webpage on Facebook um, that they had posted had some new T-shirts and stuff, and the T-shirts was killer. So I had to order the T-shirt, and I really liked the music, so I was like, I'd rather just... It was actually almost the same price to buy the physical copy was to buy to download the music from iTunes, and I'm much rather have the physical copy because I like the, um, the book and all that good stuff because of the CD. So anyway, so... Uh, that order came in today, so I'll show you what I got. Uh, and I haven't actually listened to these yet. I got off work and uh, went to dinner, and here we are at home. So uh, I'm just now kind of cracking into this stuff. So uh, first one is, I believe, their actual first CD, and it's uh, loosely based on a true on true events. Pretty cool back cover there. And it's kind of, um, the samples I got were like metal, but, excuse me, uh, a little bit of punk influence there. So, uh, of course, it's all about horror and stuff, so horror and metal, I love them. So, anyway, that's the first CD. This is their newest CD, which I don't know actually is out yet. I don't remember what the website said. I know they're having a listening party in Dallas coming up, or maybe it was last weekend. I don't remember. Uh, but this is the newest one. This is... Uh, the Texercist. Oh yeah. Gotta represent Texas. Um, this is kind of interesting. It's got uh, Big Tex right here. And for people who are not from Texas don't know who that is. Um, we have our state fair every year uh, here in Texas and uh, in Dallas. And that's kind of like the, I don't know if you call it mascot, whatever you call it. It's a huge statue thing that uh, a guy has a microphone and he speaks and you know welcome to the state fair I don't know what he says I don't remember it's been several years since I've been to the fair but anyway uh, it, interesting enough it burnt uh, I believe two years ago burnt down and so uh, I guess the fire there uh, and then they rebuilt it I believe last year and I think the new one's up and everything's okay but anyway kind of interesting so and then here's the inside some pretty cool artwork oh and this one was kind of cool when they sent it to me, it is, uh, it's kind of hard to see, but the band, all three band members, one, uh, two, and, oh, what am I doing here? Three, over here, there we go, three. Uh, all of them signed it for me, so that was really cool. Uh, let's see what else we got. And then also they threw in, and I think this actually came with the CD, this CD, some cool trading cards they had of the band, of each member. Some little facts on the back, which I thought was really cool. 
and you know, I, uh, I always dig when you order stuff from the band, and they you order you order your stuff, it comes in, and they send a few little extras. It's it's always a plus for me. I like that. Uh, they sent me this is really cool some eyeball candy, and they threw in a guitar pick, which I really dig. I like like the picks from people. There we go. Let's see. Kind of hard to tell there. Anyway, it says horror cult, and then I also ordered a T-shirt, which was really cool. Um, it's kind of hard to see. It says uh, Horror Cult. and has their symbol on Richard Ramirez's hand. And on the back, uh, I'm not 100%. I, I, see, I am evil. Not 100%, but I am evil. So that's kind of cool. Anyway, really cool band. Really getting into them. Hoping to see them when they open up for Doyle. So hopefully that pans out for me to get to go. Um, unfortunately, when that show starts, it's like on a Tuesday night, I think. Um, school's just back in session, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to get away for the evening or not for that. So, uh, But anyway, I want to thank Horror Cult for all the cool stuff, and uh, can't wait to dig into the CD and everything. So, uh, Okay, now to the next section here. Um, as everybody that knows me or watches my channel knows, I live in a small town. I live about an hour and a half away from Fort Worth, which is the closest record store, really. And I live about two hours away from Austin, so two and a half hours, I guess. And so... Uh, I haven't been anywhere to buy, actually, go record digging since May. Well, take it back. I went back, not too long ago for worth, but it's been a while. But I've uh, been ordering most of my stuff online, uh, eBay, whatever, and as I see stuff. And uh, anyway, we have a Hastings here, and they do get vinyl in, but uh, for some reason, they have gotten in so much crap lately. Um, uh, somebody named Kesha, and a bunch of pop stuff, I think, that I don't even know who they are. So. Uh, uh, so I really hadn't bought a whole lot there. So uh, a lot of stuff I've been wanting has been kind of pricey. Uh, it seems like the vinyl prices in the last few years have really skyrocketed. Um, it's hard for me to do um, 30 bucks for a new record. I mean, as much as I want the music, sometimes the price is just too high for me. I just I don't feel like it's it's worth it um, sometimes. Sometimes it is, but uh, it's kind of like the new Kiss reissues. Um, I would love to have some of those. I'm still looking for a copy of Revenge. I can order it, but man, you know, almost 40 bucks, 30 bucks, whatever. I'm just like, eh, right now. Um, but when the prices drop a little bit, or if I find some used copies of this stuff, I will be picking it up because there's a few Kiss records I'm actually missing. So I'm going to buy them on the reissue. So, uh, anyway, with that being said, there's been some records I've been looking for. Um, and I'm not even on Amazon, eBay, wherever. They've been really pricey. So, um, or I just haven't come across them. So I actually. Uh, I do download stuff on, on off of uh, iTunes. I uh, uh, if it's a good deal, and like I said, it, the important thing to me is I like the physical media, but I uh, also want the music. So uh, anyway, I'm gonna do a little something different here, kind of throw everybody off because I am a rebel, and uh, I'm gonna show you a few things I've actually picked up off iTunes at a cheap price. So uh, anyway, I'll uh, do something I don't think anybody's ever done here on the vinyl community. I'll show you my iPod. I have the uh, 160 gig uh, iPod Classic, and I don't know which generation it is. I've had it for two or three years. Um, I got a, like a clear case on it, but got some cool stickers on the back. Got to represent the metal. So uh, let me show you what's on here, some new stuff. So uh, last night I was on there. There was a band I've been uh, really digging. Uh, I have one of their one of their records on vinyl and. Uh, that's it, and so uh, I was on iTunes last iTunes last night, and I was getting ready to buy one of these records, one of the records on off iTunes. Well, as I click on it, it says they're updating the pricing, or I don't know, they're updating something that wouldn't let me purchase it. And so I was like, well, whatever. And so a little bit later, I got back on, and we're gonna purchase it. Well, it went from nine ninety nine to three ninety nine, I think. So I actually picked up. I had some money on my iTunes card. I guess I got it for my birthday or Christmas. I don't remember. And I was going to try to use up. And so, sure enough, they had marked some of these down to three ninety nine off iTunes. So, it's cheaper than the vinyl. Excuse me. And I um, was able to get the music. So, uh, what I picked up was two Sun records. I got Grim Rob Demos and Monoliths and uh, Dimensions. If you can see that on there. Maybe. Anyway, it's the top two there. And uh, really digging them. Um, I've only listened to Monoliths and Dimensions so far. 
that is definitely one that I, if I can come across on vinyl, would really like to have. Really digging the music off that. And the other one I haven't listened to yet, so I'll give you a report so I get through listening to that. But anyway, I've really been into Sun lately. Um, I don't know why. It's just got a cool sound and really digging it. And I think that's the only two I've bought recently. But, uh, but anyway, I thought I would add something kind of fun to the vinyl community, like I said. Um, I know it's all about vinyl and everything, but everybody shows other formats. You know, we see 8-tracks, we see reel-to-reel, cassettes, CDs. Why not show your iPod? So uh, anyway, um, that's all I've got for you right now. That's all I'm going to show. So uh, if you have a cool iPod or something you want to show or if you got some new downloads, throw it in there. Let's see what you got. Um, anyway, that's enough of me rambling. Uh, I will be back sometime soon with a uh, actual vinyl update. Um, I still have, gosh, there's probably stacks of CDs over here I picked up off um, Amazon really cheap, used ones, and other places. Uh, and like I said, I've got a big stack of vinyl. Well, not a big stack, but a decent sized stack of vinyl that I need to show. So, uh, but I want to come in and just touch base with everybody and kind of show the cool package I got today. And so, uh, uh, if you're into horror movies and you like metal and stuff, um, which I know a lot of you do, I think you really dig this band Horror Cult. Check them out over on, on uh, the Facebook. They got a really cool page. Um, Sarah over in Sweden, if you see this, you got to check this out. I think you really dig it. Um, if you want some of their stuff, let me know. It might be cheaper for me to. Uh, uh, buy it and ship it to you than it is to buy directly from them. I don't know. So Anyway, NBL likes that kind of stuff. I definitely recommend it. Um, here's the two CDs again. I think they only have two, I believe, out at this point. So, Horror Cult. Some really cool Texas metal with a little horror touch to it. So, uh, actually a lot of horror touch to it. So Anyway, I'm done rambling. Um, hope everybody has a good rest of the week. Uh, I'm not sure when I'll be back. I should be back soon. Um, I'm on vacation next week, so I'll be making, probably make another video, and then I'm also uh, going to Austin in that week that I'm off for a few days um, for the fam with the family. We'll be doing uh, some family stuff, but I will also be hitting some record stores while I'm there, because uh, they have some killer stores there. In fact, End of the Ear is probably my, End of the Ear, I think is the name of it. I love that store. They have some killer stuff that I like. Um, on vinyl and CD, uh, a lot of really cool stuff that I haven't seen anywhere else, especially metal-wise. So, uh, anyway, hopefully, when I get back from that trip, I'll have a really cool video to show. Um, I won't get to spend a lot of time with the record stores because I do have a full schedule while we're there doing family stuff. So, uh, anyway, enough of me rambling. So, uh, hope everybody, again, has a great week, and I will see you next time.